Hello guys, welcome back to the Turbo Tom YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, we are back on our UCC stuff. We are going to be dealing with some axles tonight. Yes, we have axles under the truck, but as you guys found out in a previous video, we're going to be running some massive cut tires for the UCC sled pull, as you can see over there. Well, that means we need to upgrade. So we have this Rockwell uh, 20. Dash 145 rear. We're going to try and pull the third member out of that tonight. I don't know if we're going to get any further than that with that. Um, but our main focus to start off with is going to be this 06 AAM nine and a quarter uh, front rear. So I actually picked this up last year in a rush. We were trying to make the Rudy's event, and I had a new TBM brake setup on our 2010 drag truck. Now, there's nothing wrong with this rear at all, but what I wanted to do was to fit our nice TBM brakes down there. Um, so I wanted to fit those brakes on the truck so we could run our 16 inch um, drag tires, our M and H's on, I forget what, what to make of the wheel, this doesn't really matter, but 16 inch wheels. So we needed these brakes. The brackets supplied by Firepunk didn't fit because this being a 2010 truck, it actually has a larger spread for the steering knuckles right here. This is about an inch, three quarters of an inch uh, taller than is on this 06 rear. So obviously with us having a fourth gen, we have some different things going on that people haven't dealt with before. The supply brackets from Firepunk, and it's no fault of theirs because only people with third gens have done this before at the time, fit these that are three quarters of an inch smaller. So after going through all that, I made my own brackets. It wasn't really that big a deal. Um, but now I had this rear just kind of laying around. Been trying to sell it, had a couple people interested, whatever. So now jump forward to now, UCC 2022 prep. Need a sled pulling axle with 488 gears like is in our Rockwell to match up for the sled pull. Plus I would like to put like a limited slip or something like that in it just to make sure we're getting all the power down to the track. My big debate with that was we have these nice Yukon axles in this truck. Actually, we have one axle Yukon axle in this truck. The other one is in that box, showed up after UCC last year. Uh, you know, supply chain issues, you know, the whole 2020 stuff. Um, anyhow, so what I've decided to do is we're gonna make this, this front rear axle is going to be our sled pulling rear axle. We'll pull that out eventually, put 488s in it and the limited slip, and that would be just for sled pulling. So then that makes this 06 axle to be our new drag racing front rear axle. So we're going to have to get rid of the bracketry, the brakes, the, uh, the discs, all this kind of stuff. So we got to rip this thing apart. Also, we want to pull the uh, cover, make sure everything's healthy inside because we really don't know much about this other than i bought it on a whim so that's kind of where we're at we're going to pull this thing apart make sure it's healthy get it stripped down you know get all the brackets and stuff off basically we're going to make a mirror image of this axle just without those axle shafts i don't think that drag racing that we're going to have an issue with the stock axle shafts in this truck but you know all that being said the fourth gen front rears um, at least the 2010 to 12 trucks and I want to say it goes to 13 and then they got into some actual disconnect stuff I'm not 100% sure in all the years these actually have a 1550 u-joint so it has bigger u-joints than you can get in the third gen so this is definitely the sled pulling setup I believe this is 1450 u-joints something like that so anyway that's kind of the rundown of what's going on why we're going to have two rears for the truck I feel it's easier to swap an entire rear than to do a gear change at UCC with limited slip because we can just pull this out undo the bars um the track undo the track bar undo the like four link bars, undo the shocks, un, you know, unhook the brakes, undo the um, rack and pinion and just slide this thing out, slide that in and bolt everything back up. So that's the plan. Also a plus to this is this actually might be a little lighter being that the U-joints are smaller and stuff like that. So it'll be a minuscule amount. But anyway, we're gonna start ripping this stuff apart and getting to it and having 
our rears for UCC sled pull ready to go. Our AAM nine and a quarter, our 06, the one that will now be our drag race axle, is a part, um, came apart fairly easily. The one ball joint over here was tack welded in. Um, that might be a thing, we'll have to look into that. Maybe we need to get a oversized ball joint for that hole, I don't know. But looking at the gear set, looking at the ring, ring gear, everything looks good. Um, no blemishes or anything stupid like that um, just a normal open rear um, so looking at the spider gears kind of the same thing not seeing anything of any worry anything like that so I think this thing is good to go um, if you can hear that ticking that backlash the backlash seems pretty tight so I think we're good there um, I may throw an indicator on it and check it. I'm sure it's supposed to be somewhere between five and ten thousandths. I don't even know for sure, but it's definitely close to that. Um, if I hold the pinion, it, there's just a little wiggle, not much. So I think this thing's good to use. It's a viable axle for what we're gonna do. I left the upper ball joints in because they both are good and tight. So no need to replace those. They have grease fittings. I don't remember if these things came with grease fittings from the factory. Once again, no idea how many miles are on this axle or what, but everything mechanically seems good. It spins nice and easy. You know, um, I'm conf confident that this thing will uh, do what we need it to do. So anyhow, we will move on to our Rockwell. We're gonna pull this third member out. I guess they call it a third member on these, I don't know. But we're gonna pull it out basically and look at it. I don't know that we're gonna get to tearing it apart. I just want to get it out look at it because it is not the same setup as this which i'm used to so i'm going to get it out just kind of so that way i can wrap my head around it before we start doing anything to tear it apart and weld those gears together so on to the rockwell Well, I got both rears apart, um, our nine and a quarter front differential. I put the cover back on, um, we checked the gears, they're good. Definitely have a lot of bracketry to remove and all that before we get you know the new stuff on there so we can make it look like the one we got under the truck currently. But everything's good there. Our Rockwell, I have our spindles all covered up. As you can see, we've been getting a little rain starting to come down, so I gotta cover up the center section here which is all cleaned out and good to go uh definitely a lot lighter than i would expect of would have expected it to be um i was able to pick it up you know one side at a time get it on the blocks and all that but yeah got that all cleaned out need to cover it up get rid of the oil because apparently it's going to rain and here is our rockwell center section so everything's looking good in here. Our 480 gears are looking, you know, they are looking well. So that's good. You know, you get something out of the junkyard, you never know. But turning everything, it seems very smooth. So we will have to blow this thing apart in order to weld it up and, you know, make it a fully locked rear. You know, do the old Lincoln locker type thing. But we're not going to get to that tonight, but we've made good progress. The main thing was basically for me to get the nine and a quarter apart so we can blow all this bracketry off 
and then get our four link brackets on there and our um, rack and pinion brackets as well so we can make it basically identical to this and then eventually this will come out and have 488 gears in it and this will be our new drag racing front rear end but yeah those are our two rears um blowing stuff apart like this not a big deal but it's the getting it back together that takes the time and all that we have some modifications to do um obviously we need new lower ball joints on either side the upper ball joints are good new wheel bearings and then they're gonna have to be turned down to fit our tbm brake hubs just a bunch of work to do but that's what we signed up for that's ucc that's us trying to take what we did last year and trying to go to another level especially with this year it being a two truck event if you would like um which i don't like but we're going to try and do it with one truck it's going to be a lot more work out there this year than just slapping the set of duels on the rear and uh you know different tires on the front and putting a hitch on there we're gonna to have to swap both rears and we're gonna to have to work into the night it is what it is i know what i'm signing up for i know what i did last year signing up for it and we got off lucky hopefully this year we do the same and we just have a little more work to do in the pits you know to swap between events so anyway guys that'll do it for tonight i'm going to start blowing them brackets off probably tomorrow i don't know if i'll record it because you've seen me do that before on this rear so anyway hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe down below Catch you guys in the next one. Get out in your garage. Get the wrench down on your truck.